Yeah, we just got out of town. It's uh, fairly late. Um, get ready to get the cup already from uh, Patrick Kane's day tomorrow. So just get it clean and ready to go and uh, shut down. Got a few hours of sleep and get ready for the big day tomorrow. Well, I tried to go to sleep early and probably didn't get to sleep around mid until around midnight. So it's an early morning, but um, just really excited about the day. There she is. You know, for me, I think this day is really going to help sink in everything that's happened and you know, just really um, take pride in this day and uh, just enjoy every moment of it. I think it's the most important part, you know, bringing it around the city to, to try to get back to Buffalo as much as possible. I think uh, you know, that's, that's probably when it's really going to sink in the most. And, I can already tell I might get a little emotional later. Wow. That looks scary. There's no way I can fall in the water. At all. I don't think I can drop it in the water, so that's a good thing. Just being up there, you get like a, a big, uh, big rush uh, with the water hitting you. And, uh, Looking down on everyone watching it, so it's uh, it was pretty cool. Give it to me, baby! Let's go! Woo! Ah, this is sick. <laughs> this is awesome. It was really fun. That's that's all. That's all it really is to describe. It, it was really fun being up there and, uh, and uh, holding this over your head with the, the water falling on you. <laughs> On the road. How you guys doing? Good? There you go. How's it going? Good? Excited? Yeah. Yeah? Good. How's that feel? Good. <laughs> Good. You see these kids and it makes you pretty emotional because of uh, what they're going through so for me I think just giving back to these kids that are obviously um, less privileged than I am and uh, I think when you come to something like this you, f you feel really um, how lucky you are to to be in this position. You like hockey? Love hockey. Yeah? <laughs> Brought you a present. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, it's pretty tough to be honest with you but um, no, I think it's good that we came in and did it. I th I'm really happy that I did just to see everyone's face and uh, how excited they are when they see the cup but it's tough. It's tough to be around this atmosphere for sure. Um, you, you realize how lucky you are, that's for sure. Hey! What's up, Greg? How you doing? How's that sucker taste? <laughs> you know, I think uh, as time goes on, you come into the league as a player and, um, you know, you want to make a name for yourself, you want to play hockey, but um, as time goes on, you really realize that you want to help out more than playing hockey. My dad's buddy, his name's Terry Pendergast, he, uh, after we won the Stanley Cup, he wrote, this is a new building being built, he wrote up on the building, uh, Pat Kane wins Stanley Cup 2010, so I thought we'd visit all the iron workers and, uh, you know, kind of pay tribute for them. I thought it was pretty cool and uh, those guys are pretty funny up there, they're pretty intense and uh, really enthusiastic too, so um, it was awesome. He won the Stanley Cup, I had to do something for the kid. We did it for him, really, not for us, we did it for him. This is the greatest. The greatest. It's going by pretty quick actually, uh, probably a little bit quicker than expected, but um, I think if, if you look at what we've done, um, you know, the iron workers Roswell, Niagara Falls, it's been uh, uh, a really successful day so far and I think we got even better things to come. Presenting to you now, the young man who scored the overtime game winning goal to win the Stanley Cup, number 88 for the Chicago Blackhawks. Buffalo's very own Patrick King! What's up, buddy? What's up, guys? Here you go. Here you go, guys. How you doing? You want a picture? We got to see the Fire and Police Department of Buffalo. Um, whoever wanted to come out and see the cop, obviously, that was a, a good thing to, to get back. What's up, guys? How you doing? How you doing? Thanks for coming. Congratulations. Thanks for coming, guys. Thank you. Once we get as high as you can, I'll just throw it down to the people.
That feels good. That was scary. All right, let's get on that boss. We're at a local uh, floor hockey rink called Spinners. Patrick plays here once a week with all his friends. We thought it'd be great for them to come back today. And they're actually in there playing for the Stanley Cup. Put it on that, boys! It's goalie's week! I'm going to take credit for the win personally. Uh, my teammates didn't really help me out, but um, you know that's to be expected in this kind of a league. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. But overall, it was uh, it was fun. I think uh, we knew we wanted to win today, so it made it all worthwhile to come here and, and win it again. So many people say that I've sacrificed my life for Patrick's career. Absolutely not. I never sacrificed one day. I couldn't have been more happier to be driving him in the car in the morning to practice, going to all the games. The love I have for the sport of hockey is unbelievable. And to be a part of this and for Patrick's success, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. I had talked to Patrick and I said, you know, Patrick, when you open that case up and you take that cup out, you take a moment and you let that stand still because that is just going to be amazing that you get to have this cup for a whole day and share it with so many people. It's been awesome. I think uh, just a, a really cool experience, something you'll, you'll probably never ever get to do again. Um, a lot of fun. Um, some pretty emotional moments too. And uh, you know, I know growing up a Sabres fan, um, never got the chance to see the cup in Buffalo, obviously, and they never won a cup. So um, I know it's probably not the same for Buffalo people, but at the same time, uh, it's always nice for um, you know myself to come back home and bring a little present with me.